Hello, this is me, Sahil Malhotra, again, joining you from the Narendra Modi Stadium in Hyderabad, which is getting ready for the big final featuring India and Australia on November 19th, a Sunday. It's going to be a blockbuster Sunday. A lot is lined up here in the venue, from air shows, from performances by leading singers like Preetam, you know, from a captain's parade where captain champions parade where we'll see, we'll hopefully see all World Cup winning captains of the past and we'll grace the occasion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is likely to be here. But let's just keep that aside for a bit because some cricketing business took place here at the venue today. Uh, the Indian team had an optional training session from 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon and uh, there were members of the support staff, coach Rahul Dravid, captain Rohit Sharma, along with Prasad Krishna, Ravindra Jadeja, Ishan Kishan, KL Rahul, who am I missing? I'm missing one guy, Ishan Kishan, KL Rahul, Ravindra Jadeja, uh, Ravi Chandra Ashwin. All these guys were in attendance today. It wasn't a, uh, uh, I would say, a full attendance session. Everyone kind of took it easy after the travel day yesterday. But these players were in attendance, but I think more than cricket, the focus after the recent furor over the pitch, the pitch swap, this color, that color, this slow, that fast, this grass, that grass. In Mumbai, ahead of the game against uh, New Zealand, where the you quote unquote used pitch created so much controversy, all the focus today was on the 22 yards and what is going to happen on that front. So, Raul Dravid, being Raul Dravid and his obsession with pitches, I think. I wouldn't say it's a bad obsession or a good, good obsession, but it is an obsession because you know every time you come onto the ground, the first place he'll head to is the pitch, the square, get the covers off, just see what the surface holds, do a formless test, speak to the curators, speak to the captain, speak to the support staff, and the story has continued ever since he has taken over as Indian coach. You know, I've been following him since the Border Gavaskar Trophy very closely earlier this year, and every time he used to come, you know, even during even during session breaks, he would be there looking at the sermon. I think he has this uh, uh, very weird kind of relationship with pitches where he just can't leave them alone. And today was no different, so he was there by the pitch. And uh, initially, I think he just stood there, hands on his waist. He was looking for ground staff, probably uh, to kind of get the covers off the pitch. But people weren't around then, so he kind of made a call. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that because I saw from the binoculars, he had the phone out. He made a call, the ground staff came. The pitch was, the cover was removed out of just one strip. So three were under the covers, but only one uh, pitch had the cover off. So kind of give that, give that, um, you know, the greenish brownish tinge, which is kind of very common on two, uh, two days before the game, because tomorrow is the day where most of the grass could well be shaved off, because it's very hot in Ahmedabad, so you wouldn't want to keep the grass off the surface, but you want to keep it there to kind of bind the surface together and not allow it to break before the action actually gets underway in a day's time. So I think that was probably the key uh, when it comes to grass and why it was, still, it was still evident from some distance. And uh, Rohit Sharma too had an angry discussion um, with with you know with with the support staff members. Rahul Dravid was there, Vikram Rathod was there. They had a mini conference of sorts after looking at the pitch. They were they were still discussing pitch. The cover was still off. They did not leave for the practice area where the likes of Ravindra Jadeja, Ishan Kishan, KL Rahul were already batting. There was a Prasad Krishna who was bowling full tilt. Ravi Chandra Ashwin bowled non-stop just like he has been doing throughout the World Cup so far. But after the pitch talk was over and a gentle roller was in place, kind of rolling surface nice and even. Rohit Sharma had his batting gear on, came to the nets. He had the side, side armors in operation and short ball was kind of his focus. He was looking to kind of get his short ball timing right, which has already right. I think there is no better footer hooker than him in world cricket right now. But he was still kind of facing some short music from the side armors who were bowling in. Tandem to him, he was looking to get the timing right. There were a couple of occasions they kind of did try to roll his wrists over the over the ball, which is not uh, a very common sight because when Rohit pulls, he pulls big, he pulls for a maximum. That is what he has been doing successfully in the World Cup so far. But today he did try a couple of occasions where he tried to keep the ball down. So that was it from uh, India's next session. Uh, KL Rahul also had an extended session. Ishan Kishan was batting for a long time. He was facing uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, who was helping the bowlers, helping the batters prepare properly for the likes of Travis Head and Glenn Maxwell. Glenn Maxwell were likely to do a lot of bowling on this surface, which I kind of expect to be on the slower side, uh, given the surface we had for the game against uh, Pakistan, which was not a rank turner per se, but it was slightly on the slowish side. and. That was evident the way India kind of contained Pakistan, and that even after that stand between Mohammad, Mohammad Rizwan and Babar Azam, we kind of didn't allow them to let uh, to just go off the hook. So I, I kind of expect something similar when India take on Australia in the big final, the big final, and the big final which will well end our uh, wait for an ICC trophy, which has been 
the I've been waiting since 10 years since that Champions Trophy triumph in 2013 and been waiting 12 years for a World Cup title since that triumph in 2011 on in Mumbai uh, during that famous night. So let's hope November 19th is the date where our wait ends and everyone's wait ends and this 11, this 15 uh, led by Rohit Sharma was phenomenal in the tournament so far winning 7 games with first 7 games, then 8 games, then 9 games, then 10 games so it's no, no ordinary feat and they could well become only the third side after the best cities in Australia to win a World Cup without dropping a game. So you keep watching Cricket Next, I'll keep bringing you all the stories from Ground Zero from here in Ahmedabad. Hit the, hit the bell icon, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on all our social media handles and we'll make sure that you don't miss a part.